hello everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in so today i'm going to be doing another folio this one is going to be a little bit different because it's going to have a certain uh different element to it so i hope you guys enjoy it i have laid everything out i've pre-cut and folded my um, base which is going to be this pretty brown chocolate color so this is going to be uh, attached here it's not going to be a closure to this and you're going to see um, how the layout of this one is going to be different from the previous ones so let's just go ahead and get started so as always you know i like to use barely arts glue and i'm going to be applying that to the inside of my tab so that uh, my tabs will be placed on the inside of the base okay Get that nice and lined up. Make sure it is straight as possible. All right. And then from here, I'm gonna go ahead and insert this panel, which is gonna go on this side. This is gonna be called the wrapped folio. And you will see why once it's completely assembled. So I'm going to place this on the inside of that score line for the middle section. Again, try to make it as straight as possible. The description is going to show the layout. I'm sorry, the description is going to show where you can purchase this folio set from Etsy. Um, and that is going to be both a Cricut SVG file as well as a Silhouette Studio file for Cameo users. Okay, so once I have this side on the inner uh, part of the score line here, I'm going to place this one on the opposite end. And to do that, I'm just going to bring this here and butt it up against the edge just so I know that I'll have clearance to be able to close this and make sure this is also going to stay um, inside of that score line. I'm going to slide it out just a little bit just to give it a little extra clearance. Try to make sure that it is straight as well. Okay, and I'm just lining the edge. Then you can open it, take your bone folder and press it down firmly. All right, so after that is secure, as you can see, this is the base of my folio. I'm gonna insert another magnet here, so this is gonna latch closed, and then this is also gonna close, and this is gonna be the folio. Now this is scaled down a little bit, okay? So the folio can be resized. Um, it is set to be a certain size. The description is gonna list that on the Etsy shop as well. So you can rescale this to whatever size you like. Now this I folded to be a pocket on this side, but before I place the pocket, I wanna be sure that I am adding my decorative panel. Remember, we tend to forget to add those sometimes, so I just want to mention it. If you are following along with me, this is the time to place your panels. So make sure you have everything cut out and arranged how you like it to be, or feel free to pause it and come back to this section when you're ready. All right, got that down. Now we can place the pocket, but first I am gonna add this so I can make sure that it is glued while it's still flat. It's not impossible to do when you have pockets, but I think it's easier to apply your panels before you uh, adhere it to the base. Got that nice and straight. I'm excited to see uh, how this comes together, um, especially with the, the small addition I'm going to make here with the acetate, which is something that I love to use in my projects. This is the first time I'm incorporating it. And the acetate cutout will be included with the cutout uh, file as well. So if you choose to use it, you can, but I'm going to show you how you can omit the acetate if you prefer not to use it or if you just don't have acetate. All right, so we're gonna place our pocket right there. Since this is folded, I'm gonna give a little bit more time to set up. 
and add here. All right, now from here, we're going to decorate the rest of our panels. Now, one thing that I want to remember again is my magnets. So I went ahead and placed magnets um, on one side of each of the panels. I'm gonna go ahead and place the other ones so that I can make sure that everything is where it should be. All right, so I'm gonna take my tape this is double-sided tape. I'm gonna pop this on the bottom of that. Okay, I'm gonna fold this closed, press that tape down, and there we have that one. So that's gonna close just like that. And then this is gonna close on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and place my tape down again here and here now you can see this is going to be a very easy template to use and assemble um, but it's going to look so elegant I'm, go I'm, I'm so excited to see how it turns out like I said <laughs> so you want to try to make sure that this lines up and everything is straight and then just gently press that tape down There you go. So we have this side with the magnets in place as well. Perfect. All right, so next is going to be designing the rest of our templates. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply these strips along the gussets. These are all cut out of the same print, so I don't have to worry about what goes where. I just need to make sure that they are straight. Um, I also did cut this out of a uh, pattern cardstock that had manuscript on it. So you want to just try, if you can tell what the wording says, just try to make sure that it is um, facing the right direction. So it's not upside down. I'm also going to go ahead and place these on the back really quick. I hope you're enjoying this folio series with me, um, giving template tutorials and... Um, you all getting a first-hand experience on how to design this and getting ideas so I hope you guys are enjoying it all right so last piece all right so from here I'm going to just take a pause from decorating and I'm going to do my uh, nice effect so I cut out these template uh, folio or I'm sorry acetate windows so I'm going to use this and this longer one is going to be for the shorter piece and I have a second one this one is a shorter piece for this longer side here so I'm going to use this as a way to put vinyl on to the acetate so that it is like a peekaboo window type of effect so you want to place these down before you place your decorative panels because this is going to be secured between or sandwiched between the folio base and the decorative panel. So to do this, I'm just going to go ahead and place it on the inside instead of the outside. I'm just going to apply glue along this edge and glue along this edge. Okay. Then I'm going to take this and align it. straight as possible and I want the top part of the acetate to align with the top part of the folio same with this edge and same with the score line I do not want it to cross over another good reason to use uh, acetate or sorry glue such as barely arts especially for acetate some glues do not adhere very well Barely Arts Glue does, so I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but <laughs> again, I just pretty much prefer to use their adhesive over any others. I have also tried Reptile Glue. That is pretty good as well. You can also use a tape if you're familiar with uh, tape and how it is, um, how it holds up with the acetate that you're using. So use whatever you prefer by all means. Okay, so for this side, I have this decorative panel cut out so now will be the time that i can go ahead and apply that now i do want to mention you do want to be mindful this is going to kind of show because it is clear and you're using glue 
um, and it's going to show on the the solid cardstock. So when you place your decorative panel, you can kind of see a little bit of the glue peeking out of the edges, but that's okay. Um, this is going to be a very nice folio, and I doubt that's going to be as noticeable as you may imagine as the person assembling it. So we're going to go ahead and place this down. And that is going to act as a way to secure the acetate. These are cut to size, so make sure that you're replacing them on the correct side and that they are the correct direction. You, I would ha hate for you to cut it out and adhere this incorrectly. So place everything out how you how you want it to be. So this side is going to go over here. Um, now I do have this magnet here, so I am going to go ahead and remove the tape from that just to prepare for uh, when I get ready to place the decorative panel. Again, I'm going to apply a little bit here at the bottom. And then on this side, I'm going to come down just a little bit, maybe about a quarter inch. All right. Start kind of high and then gradually come down so that you can align everything. Okay. Trying to check all of my edges and make sure that they are correct are, are aligned. All right, and that's going to be that side. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I forgot I had that tape. Okay, just be careful. The tape is exposed. Also, be careful when you're burnishing your acetate. You don't want to scratch it along the top panel where your words or name or whatever you decide to put is going to go. You want it to stay as um, blemish free as possible. Even if you put fingerprints on it, you can always wipe that off. So next I'm going to go ahead and add my decorative panel. So for this side, it's going to be this piece. I already have my magnet in place. lift that up just a little bit so I can see a little bit better and that is nice and centered watch that glue be careful if it oozes out sometimes it's best to kind of work inward with the glue instead of outward so it oozes on the inside versus oozing outward okay next I'm going to go ahead and decorate the outside panel so this is going to go like that and this will go here. So now the acetate is complete. I can go ahead and finish the decorative panels and we are almost done. Okay. Line this up. Again, it all it's always a good idea to uh, Pre-place everything just to kind of see how much space you have with your edges so you can kind of center it as best as possible and have the same amount of border all the way around. Also be mindful of those magnets. If you want to kind of work around it just a little bit to make it a little bit more prominent, you can. You don't have to do that if you do not choose to. It's up to you. Um, and then this is going to go here. together and it's looking pretty already all right so from here I'm gonna place the center let's see, piece now with this depending on how you place the each uh, of your wrap pieces here it may come in a little bit further and you may need to trim this down however it is perfectly sized if you do align everything up correctly it will still have the perfect border all the way around um, and you can center it as much as possible 
But again, always pre-place it before you apply your glue, just to double check. And my nozzle is getting clogged here, so I'll be right back. Okay, so. Again, this is a directional pattern. Be mindful of which direction everything is when you are gluing it down. And watch your acetate whenever you are pressing the glue in to make sure it is adhered. All right, let's go ahead and do this side, which will be this design, removing the tape from my magnets, the words are right side up, edges are straight, press in. All right, guys, this is almost done. I have to add the back. Now for um, this panel, be mindful that because that this is a folio, this side of the folio is gonna be slightly shorter than this side. So whenever you're cutting it, be mindful of which panels you cut out because this panel is gonna be slightly smaller than the two that are gonna go here. The reason for that is you want it to close correctly. So if all three sides of the panels were the exact same or of the, the base were the exact same, it would be hard to close. So I, I did design this in a way that it can be closed properly but just be mindful of the panels that you cut out. Um, as you can see, if this was the exact same length, it would be harder to close along this edge. So whatever panels you cut out, make sure that you notate which ones are gonna go on this side and this side. Okay, here I'm gonna put, let's see. Let's put this one in the center so that my words will be against that. Then this last one will be the front. Let me make sure. Okay, I have that there. Okay, I just wanted to be sure I have my magnets placed. I got confused for a second. <laughs> All right, so right side up. And glue it down. Okay. Watch the magnets on the underside. Now you can see how um, this is titled wrap just because it has a, a nice little wrapping closing feature. That is the folio guys. So again, the extra feature on this is using the acetate. You do not have to use acetate. You can completely omit it and just use these panels here. It will still have a nice feature, um, but for this, I am gonna add something nice and special. So on the inside of this, I'm going to add a scripture. Okay, so this is going to be a um, Bible verse. And the Bible verse is what I'm gonna put on the acetate using vinyl. This is just regular paper, so I'm gonna try to be 
as light as possible with the glue and there is the scripture you can print this out on regular paper you can dry emboss it if you have embossing folders with words or scriptures you can wet emboss it using an uh, embossing powder you can hand write a note in here but this is the scripture that i just decided to print and then for the wrapping feature i'm going to add the um title of the book from the bible and then the chapter and the verse here so this i cut out of rose gold vinyl i'm going to take a sheet of this sizer clear um, transfer paper i'm going to use my bone folder to get that nice and stuck Make sure that it is picking up every single letter. Now I did go ahead and weave this off camera and this is uh, the Cricut vinyl. Okay, so I wanna try to get this aligned nicely. So again, my numbers for the chapter and verse is gonna go here and I'm gonna place the Romans here. So I wanna try to make sure this is aligned properly. So to do that, I'm going to try to just place this here where I'll be able to see it. That's going to go there. And then this is going to go here. Romans right across there. I think that'll look good. Or should I go this way? Hmm. I think I'll go this way. Or this way looks better. <laughs> I'm so indecisive on these things sometimes. So I'm just going to place it right along this edge for the front. Get that stuck to the, the uh, acetate. And peel it off. Be careful not to damage your decorative cardstock. You can also place this down before you glue it on, but I would rather wait until it is secured so that I can place it exactly where I want it. So that's a tip. Wait to apply your vinyl to the acetate after you attach it. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing for this. Using the same piece of sizer. Get my chapter and verse numbers sorry for the shaking okay and this is gonna go right here make sure it's centered and peel it off All right, I can also reuse this. So I'm gonna go ahead and place it right back <laughs> on here. And just for projects like this, it always comes in handy to have a pre-cut piece. So there we have it, you all. This is a complete folio. Look how pretty that is. <laughs> I love it. It came out exactly how I imagined it would. You have this cute little pocket here. If you wanted to add an extra special note, you can write something here, depending on the, the paper you use, or you can even place a photo, photo matted on this side. Um, so you have your scripture right there, just an encouraging word. And this closes. You can also add a nice little flower or a dove, whatever you like to decorate this with, just to take it up a notch. So this, again, is the folio. It's called the Wrapped Folio. The description to where you can purchase the template for this is going to be um, down below in the description. Uh, at my Etsy is where you can purchase this. Again, it is for both Cricut and Cameo users. I hope you all enjoy this. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Oh, be sure to like and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs>